hey youtube coming at you with an ultra league team um abb style team sort of double week to fighting in the back you do add a sort of like dark fighter weakness to a certain extent but like Kabalian can handle that so i'm gonna go over like the strengths and weaknesses of the team starting with one of the battles that i think is one, probably one of the best battles I've, I've done in the last like <laughs> year uh so we'll start with that go over strength and weaknesses of the team and you may be wondering like are they moving yes the pokemon are moving i'm gonna go over that um at the end of the video because it's just like my channel related uh so let's get into the battles so glaring wheezing on the lead this is a tricky one like i so with this team you're double weak to fighting in the back so you do need to try and get out what i was going to try and do here is throw the shadow ball and then catch a move on the wall rain wall rain is your general safe swap here uh but they cmp and i'm like this could be an overheat or like a brutal swing both would hurt so i'm just gonna shield and they end up throwing uh that so i'm like okay i'm gonna have to catch us i'm down a shield already i can't come in right away because i know it's just power punch and ramp up here so i'm gonna catch so i caught the first move here so that is good um knowing that they're just gonna power punch and counter combo here so power punch comes through um I'm gonna get this through and i'll get the second one off <coughs> as well so hopefully this will grab both shields or do a ton of ship damage i expect both shields because i expect just a, a full counter down here which is okay because i'll have um i know they're gonna have at least one foul play but i think that i can outpace to the next seed bomb to take this out so the catch i saw once he goes through cmp which is great and then I'll, I'll see bomb here to take this out so fact, i got a shield because if it is a foul play it's already boosted so i gotta take that out and take this out so good <laughs> heads up play on the catch there and so they're gonna come back in with this and i'm like i expect a brutal swing so i will catch it so i <laughs> caught a brutal swing so two catches in one game feels good catch a brutal swing what is in the back they are not leaving um so they banked a move so i was like okay they may be trying to catch this move or bank move so like heads up that it, they're trying to bank it and catch at the same time um out comes gel scent i don't think a shadow ball takes me out uh so i gotta earthquake this they're gonna have to throw to take me out because i think i can probably powder some of them down and they're gonna have to take me out and i think that allows me to get yeah because i can just throw the move here so smart on them to throw and take me out but i think i could just farm down i have to come out with the move because i know they have a brutal swing um not that i would throw in this case scenario because i can easily farm down get to the move um throw the c bomb for the win so two catches one game gotta love it uh otherwise this team is okay so this is like a good lead here like this is where you want to see your fighter and then like wall rain so this is right now just looking like a hard counter you have to respect the earthquake is the only problem uh because an earthquake would from a shadow would probably one shot you uh, i'm not positive it would one shot but uh, it's not a game i want to play around and find out so i will shield i believe i get baited here yep that's fine but i still don't think they can get oh yeah i think they could get to an earthquake so i like throw out right here if they shield i'll shield back but if not uh i'll take switch that's fine and they come straight in Charizard. So Charizard's an interesting one because this Blast Burden's gonna one-shot. You're weak in the front to Charizard, and Walrein's only like neutral at best. I played it the other day, and if you bait a Dragon Claw, you can land a Blast Burn and take it out. So it's not great. So they try and catch, kind of aware that they may try and catch. Um just going straight nuke here. There's no reason not to. Get them low enough, and now. I do I do make a mistake here. Luckily, I don't think it cost me an ending because um, I can farm down, obvious. That's fine. I have a move, and I know they have a move too. What I thought was they were going to just try and farm me down, but they came in and threw me right away. Like, if I did chip damage, this would be such an easier matchup, but I didn't. So now I have one shield um, to there too. Like, the good news is I still think that I'm within Powder Snow and Ice Cold Spear range, and they let it go. Um, let it go it doesn't matter because they they know that I'm going to get to three. I'm not going to get to three, or I would get to three if they shielded that. Um, but anyways, end up with the farm down for the win there. Mirror match. Mirror match are always so annoying. I always go, oh, I, ca I caught 
so trying to catch a shadow ball caught a seed bomb is the only problem here uh, and now they're going to get to a third one which won't take you out but we'll do a lot of chip damage so maybe i shield this one or i let it go knowing that i can survive yeah that's fine knowing that i can survive and take this out and i'm loaded with energy because i tried to catch this the shadow ball so take this out uh is great out comes pelipper and again flyers so this so what is this weakness of this team this this team is sort of double weak to flyer right your trevenant is super weak to flyer and if you get like a uh pigeon only you're in big trouble and you're still half fighting with your steel so you still take neutral Yet, if you're against a flyer, at best, the double kick and sacred sword is neutral against Pidgeot or resisted in this situation. So you'd have to throw a stone edge. So I just came in here um, knowing that I can launch a couple seed bombs off here. So just trying to like take this out, get rid of it, because I don't, really don't want to deal with it with my Kabalian. So they let it go, and I'm like, look, why? And so they have Glaring Stumpers in the back, so they're going to try and sweep here. I expect there to be an earthquake. It is a very, very risky play to go rock slide here. Especially when you're up, if you're, maybe if you're down a shield, you have to try and play that bait game. When you're up 2-1 in the shielding scenario, I think you just go straight earthquake and they do, um, which I think is the right move. Like there's no point of trying to bait a rock slide there. Like that's just game over if I call it. The second one goes through and now I need to live in earthquake or Get this move off and get this move up and i live with a one hp which is huge because this will take it out uh and if it does not and they shield i will take it out with trevenant so coming instantly not going to get much shot down so let's just go shot a ball just to ensure that this game is over so each individual pokemon um i like there are like this is a good lead i have two answers for this there was a couple i did okay with this team so here's the problem with this so i try and catch Again, you have. This is why I don't like ABB Stealth teams. Let me just stop this right here because this is a, this is an important thought of my ABB Stealth team. I generally have a neutral matchup on the lead here, with Trevenant into Giratina, so I can definitely stay in, take a move, throw a shot of ball, stuff like that. The problem is I have to get out to draw out a fighter because if they have um, a fighter in the back and I'm double weak to fighting, I'm screwed. So I have to draw out a fighter. The problem with that is. Um, I can't come in with Kabalian because everything's resisted except the Stone Edge, and that would just be a bad matchup. So I have to come in Wall Rain. I gotta imagine they have an answer for an Ice, probably in a Fighter back here, right? So draw it out, which is fine. Uh, but it's like you leave in a neutral matchup. You're still not in a great scenario because the chip damage is done. I'm just gonna go straight Earthquake here just to do a bunch of chip damage because then I just want to get try to get into Seed Bomb range. They end up shielding. Um, I can't get to move. So now do I come in like do I come in and take a foul play with a Trevenant? Or do I come in and just think that they're gonna ramp up here? So I came in here knowing that like um like those counters are adding up, this power punch is gonna hurt. I did it because like I can chip here and then I can reset. Is is like not reset, but like force them to shield or not, and then I can come and snipe with Trevenant now that they're down energy. And I do that, so I come in here and snipe with Trev. Uh, but now probably the Giratina is going to come back in because it's got a good matchup or if something's harder in the back. No, so it is Giratina. So I'm up shields, but man, Giratina is so good. As you've seen by my multiple times this past weekend when I talked about how good Giratina is in the uh, in the Saturday video when I used it and Sunday when I did over the top Pokemon that you should build for Ultra League. So check those out if you have not yet. Uh, I'm sure they'll be linked above and maybe at the end of this video. Just so spammy, so bulky. I will get to a move, which is great. It's going to come down to what is in the back. I mean, my Kabalian's already taken a bunch of chip damage. Um, and is a Tabu Fini. So I get this move out. The problem is not enough to take it out. And then I'm not going to get to the Stone Edge, which I need to. Uh, multiple resistances here. Um, and they're going to get to a Moonblast to take me out first. So unlucky there. I got it. So that's why I don't like ABB cell teams. I much prefer the balance team. I showcased the balance team on Saturday. Um, so yeah. Lose lead here. Kind of lose switch here. It depends what the second move is. If it's a sludge bomb, I lose this matchup. 
if it is a scald and acid spray, it's not as bad. I'm probably going to grab a bunch of shields if that's the case. And I remember one, I played Tentacruel a couple times. This one just scalded me, so I'm guessing they only have like acid spray and are just going straight for the skull just to take me out because the poison jabs are going to add up. But at this point, the damage is done. I've, I've chipped this a bunch and now I can come just trevin in and start like getting ahead on energy. Not that the energy matters for, um, not that the energy matters at all for Guzzlord there, but I'm going to just have to rely on your back Pokemon. And that is unfortunately how you have to play AVB style teams when you lose lead and you lose switch. You just got to kind of let this go. Hope your back shields up can, oh yeah, Blizzard. <laughs> or it has a Blizzard. I was like, oh, that is real rough. I remember that matchup. Yeah, yeah. Always, I'm, I get, I get hyperbeamed in the in the psychic cup. I get blizzarded here, like, real, like not a, not a bad move. Like just it caught, caught me off guard. That's for sure, right? Um, but I will get a couple of sacred swords through. Uh, they end up shielding, so I'm gonna have to shield probably right back here. We see MP. I'm just gonna shield right back because the the. Uh, the tentacruel is very low and guzzlord is not gonna have anything to throw at me because it is dragon and dark so that's probably all those moves are resisted uh and it's, half dark is allowing me to chunk here with the moves so i think i'm probably gonna be able to take this so yeah that's how i play this team um again i don't love beef style teams the team works i did well with it um you just gotta draw out a fighter and like if you draw like a scrafty that can like ramp up and get a foul play off, like that's where it gets tricky. So that's why I don't love ABB style teams, but up to you if you wanna play that. Let these last two matchups go through. Um, as I talk about, uh, not that it matters, but you're like, why are your Pokemon moving a little bit? So um, I was in Home Slice Henry's Discord, just talking to people. Um, and I'm gonna totally butcher his name. Zaplat, Zaplatsinski messaged me, um, or he commented and he said um, he had done home slices and chilies like um, background here. And I'm like, I, I know that I'm due for a new one. I've wanted a new one for a while, but I just haven't had the time. I'd like. I'm terrible when it comes to anything artistic uh, and I don't have the time to like put in to do it. And he's like, don't worry about it. So he started talking to me and he's in the process right now of building me a new uh, like display here. So soon will be gone the pink and blue. Um, soon will be gone the white, just the white uh, um moves here so basically what's gonna eventually happen um don't i don't have a time again he's doing this just being kind and doing this for other goodness his own heart so absolutely no rush on it but eventually <laughs> um i'm gonna have a way darker background it's gonna be something similar to what you see on like those rise those video with like a darker background um kind of like animated pokemon there with uh typings for the moves so like pretty much every pokemon youtuber except me has this where they have like the typing like much more cleaner with the pokemon the typing beside the move um on a cleaner background that you can read and i know a lot of people have said like it's tough to read i'm like yeah i know so that will eventually come you will eventually see the, the switch over so i will get a more clean visual background in the near future so stay tuned for that um but yeah so that's exciting as i approach my i think i mean i'll be doing this for two years in mid april sometime which is actually insane um i started this it's so funny because i started i said <laughs> okay just let's just collect my thoughts here i there's a lot of people who do this full time. And I think like Yonkers and Home Slice are now, I'm looking at the content creators in just the GBL space. Like there's bigger content creators who do this full time, like 
Pokedaxi, um, Cricket, and Zoe, and all those people who do it full-time, but they're like the larger game. There's a couple GBLers who do this, I think, full-time now. I don't think they were full-time at one point, but I think they've transitioned to full-time, and that is um, Yonkis and Home Slice. I think they've transitioned to full-time doing this. When I started, I started in... C so, first of all, both of those guys and others and like Daniel Z and stuff like that were at like 10 to 20,000 subscribers before I even started. I started really late in the game. I started during season seven. Um, so a lot of people like who have way more subscribers than me, they benefited from just being around for much, much longer. That's for starters. I have, I know I mentioned this a bunch of time and, and some of you know, like I have two kids. I have a four year old and one and a half year old. I also have a full-time job, like not just like a, like a, like not like a work. It's a, it's a nine to five, like career that I'm 10 years into, like I'm pretty far, like pretty high already at it. So like I'm pretty senior, uh, where I am. So it's a lot of like responsibility, work responsibility there. So between the work responsibility and the home responsibility, like people are like, why don't you stream more? Why don't you do more like the grinding? It's like, I don't have time. I barely have time for the videos I have. That being said, I am now up to, let me look at my statistics because it's something stupid for doing this for under two years. 788 videos is what I'm up to. And for someone who does this really part time to pump out, like I'm pumping out like 10 videos a week because I do like sometimes two times, I got your top teams, which is sometimes one to two, depending on the number of leagues. I sometimes do two times, um, two times a day if I have like multiple teams that I want to go over. So like, it's kind of crazy to think that like someone who started season seven, um, so late in the game when GBL was already starting to like go stale, started so late, full-time job, two kids, does this kind of part-time, is up to like 13,500. And I honestly think I'm like one of the more consistent YouTubers right now, because like in the GBL space, so Onyx seems to pick back up. So no game. So thanks for watching. Uh, you don't have. If, I was about to say if you're if you're around for this long, you probably are just the people who watch my videos all the time, all the way through. And if not, <laughs> welcome to Daniel's rant time. I think in the GBL only space, there were like ten to twelve consistent people who posted so often, um, nonstop, and it was Zionic. Can, uh, King, uh, Rise, Tho, Yonkis, Home Slice, FP Sticks, Wallower to a certain extent, um, Daniel Z, I'm trying to think of the other big names that were there, that were ahead of me. Anyways, all these guys have between 20 to 100,000 subscribers. So Anik took like a little break, but he seems to be picking up a lot now. So I think he's back full time. King is one is such an interesting one because he is like one of the best battlers in the world, but between like his fitness journey and like um, his fitness journey and his judging, he now like judges everywhere, and I think he really enjoys that. Plus, I know he has a full time job too. His YouTube channel has like taken a hit; like his growth has gone down substantially, and so has his uh, like the views. And then like Daniel Z got a full time job with Pokemon go so he doesn't do it anymore or Niantic or Pokemon go so he doesn't do it anymore as as often so his views are down um Wallower quit the game FP Sticks moved and got a full-time job so he barely posts anymore um oh Kalipang that time that's Kalipang is the other one who's who still kind of posts again not as often but he still posts a decent amount but it just seems like the community has shrunk substantially and like Rise Rise is some consistent. He, he posts like he. I think he streams more. And though it's taking a break, I know he's taking a, a mental break from the game and posting. So he has he's he hasn't posted in months. Um, so yeah. So at this point, I look at like the view counts and subscribers. I'm like, how am I doing this part time? And I'm probably like one of the top five most consistent GBL, like the biggest GBLers, <laughs> consistently who post videos. Anyways, that is just all to say. Coming up on two years, thirteen thousand five hundred subscribers. 788 videos pretty crazy considering i just did this for fun one year just to start so you can 
start anytime really is, is the conclusion of this of this rant anyways that is it thanks for watching um i don't know if i'm gonna do maybe there'll be one later i haven't decided yet because i already have two more teams for ultra league um so this is going up monday and the league turns over on wednesday i already have two more teams for ultra league and i'm sure i'm gonna have more i'm filming this on friday so i'm sure i'm gonna have more by then the not that it's a problem but next week is also ultra league it is ultra league and mountain cup great league so on so on wednesday i'll post the top teams for mountain cup great league which i'm just looking up what it is right now mountain cup great league ice ground rock and steel swampert ban i was about to say swampert better be banned because swampert would absolutely light up every single one of those pokemon so we will go over top teams um I know I, I saw PB Poke has already posted the rankings. I'm just going to get a rough idea. Diggersby, Escab, Whiskash, Lucario, Gliscor, Marshtop, Ferrothorn, Obama Snow, Torterra, really? Okay, Gliscor, uh, Walrein, Lapras, Quakes here, Registeel, Frostlast. Okay, so mostly meta with some like off Pokemon here that are good in like. Marstop, Torterra, um, Quags here is good, but not used as often. Dawn Fan at 21. So it's going to be, a, I think, a mostly meta, but maybe some off meta. So I will do top teams for that on Wednesday, and then we'll do a combo of Ultra League and those teams for the following week because it runs with Ultra League. So now I'm done talking. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.